Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Hyperion Blue GT. Let's get ready for the third round in the first season of the 2021 Series Nations Cup on Gran Turismo Sport. Here we are at Circuit de Barcelona Catalunya Grand Prix layout for 13 laps, and we're going in for having two engine variants of the Super Formula SF19 will be labeled as a Group X category. We'll be ready to go with a grid start with false start check. We'll be going in for the type. So right now, this one might have two mandatory tires. We'll be going in for the requirement by using the soft or medium racing compound tire. So this one might have to go in for the interchange strategies whenever you want to pick. So this one might have a good clean race opportunity without any mistake. But be on the lookout for the chicane at the final corner. But this is going to be the most hard part ever yet. Just like I just barely took the first round in the manufacturer series because I just ended up in last place for having a group 3 category. But I almost barely had that chance for the perfection, but the spin outs is going to be the only exercise caution that we have to be very much careful to be as always. So let's go and choose the engine variant for the SF19 Super Formula. We'll be going in to use the Toyota or the Honda engine variant. We'll be get selected. So right now, I'll be get started to be on Toyota side. We'll be going in to be participate with the balance of performance regulations to be at 100% on the power and weight. Tires will be going interchangeable. Will be quite getting much possible to be starting out with the racing soft or medium compound tires. But that will might take a lot of practice for only a few minutes until we will join in session to be in the lobby. Before you enjoy watching the video, Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out some more videos if you like. Feel free to enjoy it anytime you want for the entertainment. Now it's time to get ready to start the race and let's begin. The 2021 Series Nations Cup is about to begin in Round 3. Super Formula race cars are now ready to go on the starting grid to be and Circuit de Barcelona will go on. And on Daystar is now taking first place and here's Perfection Doll in second place will be at the ready on the Toyota engine variant of the SF19. Racing Hobo is now going in to take third place and here's Derek McGurk is now going to be in position number four and here's Chimera 757 in fifth place for the Castro Dean livery of the SF19. Ice Cold Pickle is in sixth place to be going for a Carbon Fiber variant and here's Zero Capity is now taking seventh place. Night Filler 2112 is now taking eighth place and here's the ninth place driver is Nibble in the Petronas Dean livery of the SF19 for the Honda engine variant. And here's Cowboy Casserole is now taking 10th place. Red Hot Sea Peppers is now taking 11th place with a Twig Steam Livery. And here's GM28 John in 12th place. Also for the 13th place driver is NTCT Tenacity 777. And we have Al Hata 327 is in 14th place. And even for myself in 15th place with the UDRS N Sport Tech Livery for the Toyota Engine variant. And here's the Mr. SSDD in 16th place. 17th place is Lima's 998. Going in for Pat Typhoid in position number 18. And here comes the position 19 driver is I-96 Perez. CO 96i is here and that makes it 19 drivers. We'll be having a full start check for the starting grid. We'll be get ready. Michelin tire stickers are now being applied for the competition. This will might have a perfect race. We'll have to take the chance for survival without having much dirty race will be coming in. Five seconds will be going in. 
There's going to be a lot of good spectators to be seeing some super formulas will be going in and here we go and let's do this. The third round in the Nations Cup is going underway. Just going to have to keep a good use of the radar. This race is going to get a little bit hard start out there and that one might have UDRS for having a one second penalty by having an incident start. But it is going to be quite harder out there. We'll be quite calling in. But everything is going safe and sound. We'll have to take the green light for go. Just going to have to going in at the school corner section. It's going to get a little bit harder out there in sector 1 before coming in at sector 2. But I mean, look at this penalty, folks. This is going to get a little bit dirty, so just going to make sure to keep a good exercise caution. That one might have a cause to blame to see how it turns out. Everybody has to take that motivation. We'll have to keep focusing forward to be going in to be in the first penalty line. But take your time, folks. Looks like this race is going to get much intense. Stay in formation. That one might have the overtake function to be used. Okay, made it in in sector three. Just gonna have to pull the brake at the hairpin and looks like Red Hot Sea Peppers is now going on the outside and goes right back on track. Two second penalty just barely took the effect. I guess this race is gonna be the only perfect start out there just to be safe. And here comes the chicane. Just gonna keep a good stationary formation without losing control and take that final corner and first lap down only 12 more to go before moving on to take lap number two and on daystar is taking faster laps to be on one minute and 37.227 seconds i guess everybody is still trying to keep working hard to do some successful clean runs in the track barcelona is the symbol of the spanish grand prix for formula one race cars exclusively for super formula race cars in GT Sport is going to be the only professional racing skills we'll be going in to take the most master skills we'll have to achieve. Just going to have to go in onto the last second. Red Hot Sea Peppers is now taking the defense on the ropes and he's going forward to take ninth place. There's going to be a lot of drama of the penalty for every driver in the lobby so just going to have to make sure to do some extra space without taking contact. That one might have the opportunity for several drivers will be perceived forward if any drivers will be crossed down onto the penalty line to be forced to slow down in a few seconds. Now this one might take a standby. Better watch yourself. Now goes in onto sector 3. We'll be going to the hairpin. Okay, perfection doll just barely took one second. Just gonna have to keep a good eye out. Okay, goes back in. Oh man, just gonna have to take that risk. Goes down onto the chicane. Oh boy, looks like this is gonna get much crowded to be situated, folks. And oh, 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 9 filter 12 just barely lose control at the final turn. Man, that is so shocking to see this. Instant replay to have a good look for the investigation. I cannot believe it. He just barely had that chance to tried to stay in the group formation without having a prevent spin out but he just dropped down onto a different position to be towards last place. So right now UTRS is going to be having a hard time out there to be using with the medium compound racing tires to be on the first run. Mandatory requirements is going to be the only possible thing to be safe for the racing soft to do the second run. Refuel is going to be much possible to be in case. Just gonna have to stay safe folks. This is gonna be the most hardest race for this year's in the 2021 series. Going in onto the combat circuit. Just gonna go in on the inside. That will might take that formation lineup. We'll be going for the slipstream. Several drivers are now going in to cross the penalty. UTRS is moving on to take 13th place. Just to make sure for sector three, we'll take the hairpin. But wait, just gonna have to go for a little stroke of defense to be on the inside. Take your time folks, I know this will might get a lot of high pressure whenever we have to take that good to cheap strategy. Staying on the apex for only one super formula race car and moving on to take lap number four before at the end of the third lap. 
and on Daystar is now going faster for only 1 minute and 28.726 seconds. He is going much faster out there folks. This will might take a good remarkable super formula race effort to see how he can do it to take a, a, a skills of a professional will be quite giving some good efforts will have to take much corners to be achieved. And we have Racing Hobo in second place is now going in to take the chase. Only a few gap distance left to go for the Canadian driver is now going to be catching up to be in the compact circuit after leaving the school circuit layout. But Hairpins is going to be the only basic possible for every Super Formula racer in the Honda or Toyota inch of variant. That is going to be the only hardest thing that we could probably have to do the most important thing after the race is over. Keep practicing and you'll be able to achieve. Just going to have to go for a little overtake boost function. Hit sector 3 to be at the hairpin. Keep it slow and Pat Typhoid is now going closer onto my gap distance in 1.4 seconds. Just going to keep going on the inside position towards the chicane again. Very good. Looks like that is going to be quite going well. Going formation. And take that good handling response will have its full potential whenever it gives a chance. So here comes lap number 5 and that means staying on the racing medium compound tires will have to go endure. If any drivers were using the racing soft compound will be quite given the starting position between 4th through ninth place. Well, I guess this is going to be the only strategy tip by starting out the racing medium compound tires according to the most latest strategy tips from Twitter that will might give a good helpful tip. Just going to have to keep going forward folks. This race is going to be much challenging for every GT player to be given some good potential use of the SF19 Super Formula. Pate Foy is now closing in in my position in about 0.9 seconds. Gonna have to keep going over onto the combat section to be in sector 2 before going in at the hairpin at sector 3. That was a fantastic handling inside move and that we might have to pass through to the penalty line and pass on to the double cones. Breaking position in the formation and looks like Knight Filler 2112 is coming in. Gonna have to keep a good speed distance away for only a sh short amount. That's more like it. Just gonna have to go on and have that apex to be staying on track. Slow mobility is the only quickest way. Now, this one might have the early time we'll be going into the pits. Going on for the racing sub compound tires will have the same amount of refuel if possible. Hope everybody is still tries to do their best. Survival of the fitness for the Super Formula in the one make category for only two ancient variants in the different brands is going to be the only way to see how each professional racers of Gran Turismo can probably have to make their way to the top three. So my crew is all set and have that racing soft compound tires to be at the ready. Moving down to position number 17 and everything goes on. I hope the strategy is going to be quite coming well out there folks. Mandatory tires is going to be the only second step we'll have to proceed without having a one minute penalty. Sector 1 clear, now going in onto sector 2. So let's see on one of the top 3 driver is going on to be in third place. Al Hata 327 is in third place. This is going to be pretty good for only one American driver is going to catch up on to Racing Topo from Canada in second place. His skill is going much further straight up ahead to catch up onto the second place driver to be going in. It's getting closer. This is going to be quite getting closer to Al Hata 327 to reach up onto Racing Topo in second place. Taking on the defense. Al Hata goes on the offense, take that hairpin at sector 2, going in to take the second one. 
Okay, very good. Looks like we have more driver are now going in to take the pit by using the medium compound tires before switching in onto the racing stop. But that we might have the early call will have to keep going forward. But only 11.163 seconds to, to reach up towards NTCT Tenacity 777 is going to get a little bit much further distance out there to see it folks. UTRS is still having a long time to take a little bit standby moment because it's going to be the only opposite to be starting out with a racing soft compound to do the first run and the medium will stay for second. But I hope everybody could probably has to do much circumstances to be having some few point rate entry is going to be on the way. Just going to keep going forward after leaving the school circuit layout going in onto the compact circuit onto this section and we have a 16th place driver is now forcing in to be on the penalty line. This will might have the opportunity for UTRS will be moving forward and currently to be on 17th place. Here, Zero Cavity is now taking the recovery after crossing the penalty line. UTRS is going in. Staying on track is the only way to see it. That's more like it. Just do that slow and steady at the chicane. Don't want to have to do the same mistake since the first round in the manufacturer series. Moving on to the 8th lap and Anon Daystar is now taking the new set of the fastest lap time by the update in 1 minute and 27.902 seconds. He is going much quickly faster whenever he has to take a good personal time trial during the competition. He is going faster on the road folks. Anon Daystar is going in to be on the high road by enter to the pits. That will might have a racing soft compound tires to be going in to take the first run. Save it in for having a refuel if possible will be quite giving some medium compound will be doing the second run. And that makes it for racing hobo in first place to be in the lead. He could probably have to keep on racing to stay clean to achieve. Now we have GM28 John is in second place while Perfection Doll is in third place. That one might have and on Daystar is now switching in to take second place by any position will be moving on automatically to proceed forward to be in the third current position. The FIA really enjoys to see how many Gran Turismo players enjoy this most fantastic race to take any good auditions to be in the good perfection segment. But it looks like Red Hot Sea Peppers is now switching in onto the medium racing compound tires to be on the recommend spot. Just gonna have to go fast and improvise whenever we can. Only four more laps to go and we are in the ninth lap. Just to see how Super Formula race cars are now gonna be on the lineup formation to see how they could probably have to stay on every hairpin in the school circuit layout. They have already made it in onto the combat circuit Things will get a little bit more drama out there by having some multiple contacts by having a penalty. Just take exercise caution while you can because this is going to be on sector 2 before coming in at the hairpin in sector 3. That's more like it. Just take a good monitor check out there. I hope if anybody barely made a mistake by the penalty that we might have to take the next lap will be proceed to the penalty line once again. Perfection stall is now in the pits by using the racing soft tires will be switching in onto the medium. And everybody is still moving on to take the final turn before coming in at the end of the ninth lap. That makes it lap number 10, only three more to go. This race is going to be quite going much possible to see it folks. They all do a lot of practice, they could probably have to take much tires will be quite interchangeable to be on the opposite side. So that means this one might have the perfect chance for UTRS to be currently on to 13th place before it might be quite possible by the overtake. And there it is. We have Night Filter 2112 is coming out in the pits. 
That makes the nick of time for UDRS to be moving on to take turn 1 and turn 2, moving, moving forward to be in position number 13. Only 9.1 seconds to the gap distance to reach up onto Derek McGurk in 12th place. NTCT Tenacity 777 is actually trying to keep going stronger to be on the offense-defense strategy before leaping in onto the school circuit layout until coming in onto the compact circuit. It looks like Racing Hobo is in the pits by taking the first place. We'll have to give a little bit more spare time by using the medium compound tires. We'll be going for the required mandatory tires. I bet the proud Canadian driver could probably have to give a little bit of time to spare until Anon Daystar overtakes him before moving on to take first place. But wait, UTRS have picked up something at sector 3 in the hairpin. Night Filter 2112 overtakes by using the extra boost functionality to see it. That is going to be quite good, interesting for the element of surprise. That was quite super fast out there for Night Filter 2112. That makes UTRS will have to engage with the extreme speed we'll be going in to be on a straightaway until moving on to lap number 11. How fantastic to see how Super Formula race cars to be racing on the Spanish racetrack is going to be quite going brilliant out there. Much like Formula 1 race car, it's going to be quite going great to be on the Japanese Super Formula race car. It's going to be going much faster to take much racing overtake whenever close in to each other. Just going to have to get a little bit more closer. Going on to Sector 2 once again to catch up on tonight. Filter 12 is now going to be in. Almost there. Just going to have to make that next turn at the left. This one might get a good suitable formation to be on the apex. Fuel is at 25% remaining. Everybody has to hurry up until this race will be over soon in about over 20 minutes to be in the total time. So meanwhile, the top three drivers have already made it in onto the 12th lap and that we might have several drivers will be going onto the lineup before moving on to take the next lap. But it's going to get a little bit slow and steady formation for every driver including UCRS to take some time and don't get a lot of high pressure to go on the limits. I-96 Tesla 96i is now in the pits by using the medium compound and he's coming out of the pits. This is going to be the only chance. Take turn one and that is going to be a risky situation out there for taking the side by side and turn one and turn two. There you go, looks like the Red Bull Honda variant is now moving on to stay in the current position to catch up onto Lemus 996 and that would might have everything to go in. 998 is still going in to catch up onto I-96 Tresso 96i. UDRS is now going in for the scene. This is going to be on the most grueling struggle battle ever yet. But note to self. One second penalty due to the contact nearby is going to get a little bit more important needs to be reminder. So it looks like we're almost there folks. The final lap is about to go in for the for Anon Daystar will proceed forward to take the 13th lap. Racing Hobo is now going in to take one last chance to catch up onto the first place leader. That is going to be quite thrilling out there to see how first and second place driver is now going to be in onto the final showdown. Just keep a good eye out. There's going to be a lot of spectators who really want to see the first place driver will be taking home the podium. It's going to get a little bit more grueling to be on the Barcelona track. We'll have to take some exercise corner to be quite getting in. Take some good chances on the overtake. Give some extra speed whenever you really need to save amounts. It's going to get a little bit closer out there. Just keep a good eye out. Whenever Anon Daystar will be going in to take the finish line and that will might have the first place winner to be in the third round in the 2021 Series Nations Cup is going to be quite giving the best successful name written all over it. That will might have a final stretch. We'll be going in after the chicane. 
Just heads up. Keep a good eye out. And we have... And on Daystar has finally made it towards the finish line. He has finally reached the first place finish to be in the third round in the 2021 Series Nations Cup. And on Daystar has wins the race in the SF19 Super Formula One Make Race. Brilliant. That is super brilliant. Racing Hobo has finally made it in second place and we have Shimera757 is in third place. Keep a good eye out. I hope that any drivers have barely reached the finish line with a one minute penalty. Just gonna have to proceed forward in about 53 seconds until this race will be over soon. And oh man, did you see that? I-96 Trestle 96 I just barely took a jump by the unexpected. I didn't see that coming. I really did not see that coming whenever it comes in to a jump by that cone object. Well anyway, 14th place for UDRS and it's gonna get much harder we'll be moving forward towards season 2. But it was a much challenging race by the way to be in Barcelona. So that we might have every drivers will have to do their best. Ice Cold Pickle is now taking one lap plus and that we might have a results to be confirmed. Well, sometimes having a clean race is going to be the hard risk when using an SF19 Super Formula for the Toyota or Honda engine variant. That we might have the main outcome will be going on to the small earnings. Daily workout complete by the check mark and that was a pretty good excellent race for today folks. And on Daystar has finally did a good job for having a first place victory win in his custom livery of the SF19 Super Formula with a Toyota engine variant. Racing Hobo did a pretty good job in second place with the Honda engine variant and that makes Chimera757 has did a pretty good job in third place. Congratulations to the first and third place driver to be a pretty good successful spotlight to be in the highlights. Well done you guys. Well done. Now that's the only way whenever we have to go standard fast to be like a true professional racer of a super formula race car. Just gonna have to keep practice on every racetrack before we will move on to the next season in the 2021 series. So you're very welcome Racing Hobo. This will might have a good successful second place finish to be on the silver spot. But that's a good competition. Whenever we'll have a good greeting response of kindness. So that was an A-OK -okay race at Circuit de Barcelona, Catalonia for the Super Formula SF19 between the Toyota or the Honda engine variant is going to be quite taking much slightly risk without taking contact by having a penalty. But I did my best, but the good news is I could probably keep the Michelin tire stickers whenever I want to be featured to be in the spotlight. So I hope it could probably might have a good chance to purchase another SF19 Super Formula with a Toyota engine variant but maybe I'll have to make sure to keep it as long as I could. Moving on to the next race in round 4 we'll be going in to be at Suzuka Circuit for the group 3 category in 16 laps. The 3 tire mandatory requirement strategy is coming in so just going to make sure to build up a method whenever each group 3 race car is going to be quite coming up to be perfectly to be specific. Thank you for tuning in on my video folks, I hope you enjoy, so make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, don't forget to leave a like, comment, bell for notification upload to be turned on, and the links of the description down below if you really want to see more. You can check it out on Instagram, Deepinet Art, GT Planet, and other social media platforms if you really want to follow me, and don't forget to support my main project, Vision Total Drama, the next chapter of the Total Drama fan art to support the community. I'll be seeing you guys next time in the 2021 Series Nations Cup on Gran Turismo Sports and I will see you later in the next video. Keep on racing, stay clean.